Hey everybody, welcome to Brothers Thrice. We are three brothers who grew up in the same household, but have very different opinions and stuff. All we, we like different stuff. That was the crappiest intro ever. Let's start this thing up. I'm Will. <laughs> I thought you were going to redo it. I thought you were going to nah, redo it. Let's just keep going. I'm, I'm Kevin. How you doing? <laughs> and I'm Brian. We all know. If people have listened this long, <laughs> if people have listened this long, they know the intro and they're like, that's enough. I know what's happened. Let's just get to it. We grew up in the same house. <laughs> we grew up in the same house and there's different stuff about us. Who knew? But yeah. Okay. You know so, how people work. <laughs> Today we're doing a bracket of our top three Disney movies. We said we at first we were saying just classic, but we're like, no, Pixar movies and different things are very classic as well to us now. So we extended it to those as well. So what we do we have pick Snow White, 1934, garbage. No thanks. <laughs> so we have our um, three picks each. We did it draft style, snake draft style. To decide who, because because how we usually pick, a little peek behind the curtain, is I make the bracket. So I usually have my oath, my three and probably pretty, pretty much first. So I kind of get first picks of what, like, uh, like cereals, for exa- example. Like, I pick Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but then I think Kev or Brian also sent in their picks. And then I, they want Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm like, nope, sorry, I already have it. So instead of doing where it's like kind of first come, first serve, it's it was like uh, in the moment draft style. Which was uh, which was fun. Fantasy football has just begun, so oh, yeah. we're, we're in we the have, mood for the draft style as, as it was. We actually had our fantasy football draft last night. Last night, two nights ago. Two nights ago. Two yes. nights ago. Well, I've had that was my third one I've had. So I've on my I have three three fantasy things. Oh, it's gonna be, it's a it's a lot. It's sometimes too much, but it's fun every year. Yeah, you'll hopefully win one of them or some of them. I won I, last year, just so everyone you yes, know, is aware. Yes, Brian won last table. year. I won. Brian won on the, shoulder, on the shoulders of Stefan Diggs. Damn right. <laughs> Stefan Joey Diggs. Shout which, out Stefan Diggs. Which we have to discuss off the pod because uh, watching the draft the, you know, the other night, the two players who you pick every year were picked the pick before you every time. And I was oh, waiting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll discuss off pod because, you know. Yeah, this is not that pod. No. I wanted to do a football pod, but you guys were like, no, no. I don't know enough about it. I don't know enough about it either. I just, I can uh, know, I know mainstream stuff. I don't really know. Well, you the guys sit quiet and I'll talk football. Oh, that's, okay. a, that's a different podcast. And that's just, that's just talk radio when you're by yourself with the mic. I'll it's take in the callers. Show. Yeah. Callers. All right. So uh, let's jump into the bracket um, style. Nine and eight seed, nine oh, which seed, I, which is a low. Which I think this is really, this is this is a dis, this is a disservice to the nine seed here. The, yeah, the fact is, that it is, is the nine seed low. is is well. There's very just so low. many. There's just so many to choose from that I feel like ones that are very classic still bump down because there's just so many to pick from. Uh, by the way, go look at the bracket if you want uh, on all all our socials uh, at Brothers Thrice if you want to play along or you know pick out your winner before we make it through and say. And then tell us how wrong we were by <laughs> picking these. Or how right we were. Or yeah. how right. If we really Which, like. Also, agree. you know, we talk about, you know, being three brothers growing up in the same house, as well said. Um, you'll <laughs> notice that it is a, a three brothers uh, yes. top three list. That is because true. when you look through the bracket, you'll notice there's only one princess movie. And it's barely a princess movie because. It, yeah, that she's not the main character. Uh, so uh, you know, to be honest, we're we're boys, um, and I, you know, growing up, that we didn't watch Little Mermaid really. Like we knew it was we yeah. I, we've I've seen it in my lifetime, but it wasn't like not in our VHS collection, or was it? I think it was. I don't, I don't know. I've only seen Little know. Mermaid like three years ago because Crystal made me watch it. Yeah, I've seen it more recently because I am. I really haven't. I never. Well, growing up, we just. We you did know. watch. We did have Beauty and the Beast, though. That was because cl- that's 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 a princess one, but that has like that kind of goes past like the princess thing. It's hard. It's hard because there's more to it, I think, than just like you know. You know what I almost put on this bracket, but I was like, nah, it's not that good. It just kind of like has a like nice little warm spot in my heart. What's that mouse from that like the Disney mouse that was always in the VHSs in at Madison? Oh, Fifel. Is it Fifel or Fifel? Fifel. Fifel oh, goes west. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, is, is that, that Disney? Is that Disney? Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. 
I don't Google know. Fact, fact check it. How do you spell that? Fifel? <laughs> F- I don't know. F-A-I-F-E-L, the mouse. Disney Movie. question mark? Fifel well, goes west. Uh, 1986. Uh... It's great content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually a Universal. Oh, yeah, I, didn't think, I didn't think it was Disney. I don't either. It doesn't you know have a very it, Disney it style, apply though. What it does, it, then it doesn't apply whatsoever. No, it but it, also it has a very um, Disney look, though. This doesn't uh, apply, I don't think either. But speaking of mouse animated movies, do you guys remember the Mouse Detective? And it was like a mouse, and he was like Sherlock Holmes, but it was a mouse. And then there was yeah, like the mouse yeah. detectives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was also a great movie. I don't know if that's Disney or not, but I love that movie. Also, a, a, a very popular selection from Nana's collection. Uh, yeah, was. and Balto. That and Balto. 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 Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Balto's the shit. Well, Nana's. I cat. don't understand. One the was... other one, the, the other one where there was like fairies that lived in the forest, and there was like a sl- uh, a tar monster because it was they're cutting down the rainforest. What? It's not a Disney. It's one. not a Disney cartoon, but they're like fairies that live inside of trees, and then there was like a giant. A sludge monster that was coming out of like the machine that was cutting down the trees because they were pretty much like just destroying all their homes. I don't know the name of it. As an environmentalist, I would love that movie for the great symbolism that it has, but I don't recall. It's I don't not, know. I don't think it's very symbolism. They kind of pretty much say, like, it's destroying our home. <laughs> not very, it's not very deep. <laughs> not, no metaphor there. It's just, it's just what it is. Kev, the all great right. mouse detective is a Walt Disney picture. So if you'd oh. like to rearrange the bracket and put it up there. No, I, I won't. I barely I won't. remember that movie. But that movie was great. What's <laughs> what was the of the early like the late 80s, early 90s like affiliation with mice? Like the, there's so many mice movies. I don't understand. Why are we personifying like, mice so much? I don't know. Were, <laughs> people didn't people didn't clean their houses good and they had all oh, everyone had mice and they're like, oh yeah, that's a character. <laughs> we can make that. Well, I guess <laughs> also Mickey. It's a mouse. Oh, yeah, that that kind of helps. Oh, what? There you go. Well, that the, was their biggest before. their biggest my mascot. It was yeah. uh, it's a mouse. Vincent or... Price was in that movie. Who's that? He's like some actor dude with a mustache. Oh, oh man, right, mustache. of course. All right, let's get to our bracket. <laughs> we're just talking about other movies at this point. Um, I and yes, we we are brothers and boys, so a lot of you know quote unquote princess movies from back then on our list. And if you're a lady, I apologize. You really or enjoy if you those. just like or the princess if you just movies. love those movies we just yeah. you know let's just it's obviously not to discredit those films they, they're good films, no they're great but we but just, just didn't watch them not, we didn't grow in up excess them. as children yes like you know yeah. now nowadays the people well it's also easier to watch anything you want but nowadays kids growing up could watch you know frozen to uh i don't know what's hot right now what's a cool what's a, what the kids into uh, uh tiktok well yeah <laughs> Is that a Disney movie? TikTok, a Disney movie? Probably. I, I, I don't doubt. In like two years, I'm sure we'll see it. I just saw a commercial for a, sh- a, a, a show. I think it's on Hulu for like the 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 two two people from TikTok or whatever have their own. TV oh, the Demilios show. have their. Yeah, yeah so, they have they yeah. have like a reality show. I think. So this is it's just trying to be like the, it's just the, it's the like, fall of civilization. They're trying to Kardashian themselves. I think just like oh, we're also people. It's like okay, shut up. Oh, <laughs> they're people. Right, let's get to the bracket, y'all. We're, we're a new TLC show, Brother Thrice. Yeah, why I TLC? I don't know. I just feel like one of those weird shows. <laughs> like what would we? What would be our? Six hundred pound life, and Brother Thrice. <laughs> hmm. What would be our stick? What would well, we they do? Care. They just had they're the three different camera crews at each of our locations, and then just they cut it together. And I don't know. And then yeah. I guess we come together and do a pot. It's not. They would be very bored with our content. I don't know. We're yeah. very interesting. Like, oh man, he's. He's playing video games again. <laughs> this is six <laughs> hours. All right, let's get into the bracket. This is this all is right. Gonna... So, so the eight, nine, nine seed, seed, as we said, was it's like oh, yeah. it shouldn't be the nine seed. So my pick, uh, I think this was my number two, three, three, number three. Number so three. Technically, because you picked it third and you had last pick in the draft, this is why it's nine seed. Right. So I picked so... Toy Story, the original Toy Story, um, and Not it Toy is Toy Story two, three, four, five, six. I don't think there are five or six, four. but it goes up to four. Not yet. I mean, that's true. Um, but Toy Story is my pick going against Brian. Your pick, your number three, which is Wally. Wow. Is that good? That's pretty that's good. Pretty, that's, that's very does, good. That, does that count as the uh, impression of the day? There, there will be yeah. more. There I'm will sure there will be more. So, All right. 
What's Will, you are about the... the yeah. I'm the deciding factor, I guess. Unless you, you got well, unless Brian wants to not choose Wally and go on the side of Toy Story. Um, I was watching a, th- a YouTube video thing the other day and looking at what or the original Toy Story looks like versus what Toy Story Four looks like. It looks like Toy Story, even like even though even in the day it was early on, it was like it looked amazing and so different and fun. Looking at it now, it looks like terrible. Like it looks like it's <laughs> like it looks like it's a rough draft animation for what the animation is going to be in the future because just start because well, yeah. all the technology that's 1995 technology, baby the technology got so good since then that it's like crazy yeah. how like well because if you think about it it's different type nuts. of an- animation because like yeah. you know it came out in 1994 i think 95. and whatever uh, I, I would check while i'm talking check this i think it's 94 this um, article is about the 1995 film Toy Story. All right, you already had it up, um, but that came out relatively close to <laughs> Which Lion he meant, he, King. He said, "Suck it." Yeah. <laughs> you know, right? so the Lion King animation is very much that 2D, 2D, you know, yeah, and Toy Story is that 3D type, you know, well, animation. They, so they it's like different. computers. They pretty much computers made like computer kind of systems and software is made for to start like this like, this kind of animation. Like they didn't have. Uh, all the 3D programs they have now, they had to kind of like build stuff yeah. to make it work. I mean, work. if you look at Andy and his mom and like the one they do, like the Sid. toys look great. The toys scary. look great. But yeah, the people look horrendous. Like right. Andy looks like he's, he's like, I don't know. I, I love yeah, my toys. I saw, I saw a behind the scenes sort of thing online once where that, you know, the birthday party scene. Yeah. With all the kids running around. They, they all they did if you like if you pause it and look close because it's just quick shots of the kids at it's the just party, duplicates it's just andy's it's andy's face again with different clothes on <laughs> yeah <laughs> so hey, they're all trying. his friends hey, are just and cutting corn hey it's like 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 no one gives a shit about this they're just watching the toys just duplicate the humans who cares jay at least change their shirt we're good to go yeah Let's change go. their shirt maybe their hair color boom done yeah and they, and they made the main character wear the cowboy hat so it was fine there you go yeah, but if you watch like the newest Toy Story four, like the lighting in that movie, like there's like light streaming through a, a, a you know through a window and onto like and there's like dust particles in the air and it's like holy crap, this is looks like I can yeah. touch it. And if you watch like on like a really solid TV, like in four K, any of these movies that are out right now, it's just like whew, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't. Well, yeah, I was watching um, what's it called? Not on the list, but the newer movie. Balto? Ro- no, <laughs> Balto in four K. <4K>. Um, <laughs> The new Raya Last Dragon that's on Disney oh, okay. now. And it's like on like a you know, it's in H four K if you watch on a four K TV, it's like the detail that they can put and the lighting and everything is just like it's just like it's it's it, it blows my mind. It almost looks obviously they're going for more of a cartoony look, so it doesn't look real, but it looks real. It's crazy. How was that movie? It's Side good. Point. It's it's a good uh it has it does really good world building without being like this is the story. Like it just, it kind of is like, here's the premise. Okay. Go from there and just go. Is it also it's not, it's not too. Film? Yeah. It's on Disney plus now, but it was premium access, but now it's just, um, you can watch it, uh, for freeze. Well, for free, if you have Disney plus. Right. Of course. Um, Anything else to say about toy story? Because well, uh, yeah. there's, there's plenty to say about this. Yeah. Movie. Toy story. I mean, you got Tommy Hanks because Tommy I mean, Hanks, Tommy Hanks is the best. Um, well said, I'm sorry. Wrong movie, but still. No, I'd say it's Tommy good. Hanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're a toy. That's toy Story is like one of those classic movies that like kind of bridge the franchise. Like, so, I mean, bridge just the franchise. Sh- yeah. Like, was this, with was this the toys- first Pixar movie? No, I don't think so. It, honestly, it might be. That might be a I Google. Think that, right I there. think that is. Oh, it's going to Google. What was the first? Uh, yeah. Right, while you're story. figuring that out. So Toy Story Toy Story really was Toy Story. <laughs> blew up for Pixar, but also, I mean, the story itself is like the idea of toys coming to life. I mean, how you know, how many kids like would like try to spy on their toys after they left their room after watching? That I movie? did. <laughs> so I mean, it's great. Um, there's like classic lines in it. Yeah, the classic lines in it. The one that I'm thinking of is just like bed sheets. Who the hell invited that kid? <laughs> like, I don't think I don't just, think I said that. It's bed sheets. <laughs> No, they definitely like who invited that kid? Who invited that oh, kid? No, no hell. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, it's a kid's movie. Bed sheets. Who the? <laughs> <laughs> who the? 
Um, well, the other one is um, Buzz Lucas and Alien. We, we still say yeah, that. Yeah, we still. Yeah, are you mocking me? No, Buzz mocking Lucas me? and Alien. Oh, great. And who I'm, could who could forget the epic soundtrack provided by Randy <laughs> Newman? Yeah. You got to friend, friend me. You got to hey. friend me. Great. It's a great Who's movie. Sailing? No. Oh. Yeah, it's all lips. Yeah. Beautiful. Is Randy Newman still kicking? I think so. He's old. He's definitely old now, but he's still kicking, I believe. But I think Toy Story is one of the best movies on this list and is rated number nine. So hey, I feel you like it picked has to it ninth. You picked ninth. Yeah, but nobody else picked it. I thought it was for sure was going to go one or well, two. That's with somebody not else. my. That's not our fault that you assumed it's it was not. Picked. But I think it needs to. I mean, Wally is a good movie, but it's not the cultural not icon Toy that Toy Story is. Well, Randy I'm gonna, is 77 years old. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bray. What, what do you think? Wally should be Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story? Should Weiss Wally be Toy Story? Well, I'll tell you what. Wally is, you know, a true story, but it's just that story didn't happen yet. A true okay. future story. Yeah, it's a, it's a true future story. It's a tale. It's a, it's, a, it's a cautionary tale. It's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow? So if, for those of you who haven't seen that movie, why? I, I honestly have not seen the whole thing. I've seen the beginning and I've seen the end. Great I've movie. never seen the middle. Me too. I've never seen the whole thing. Great movie. So basically what this movie is, is there the main character, Wally, is a tiny little garbage trash, robot. He's a trash compactor he's robot. He's a trash right? robot. Yeah. He, he takes ro- uh, garbage on earth and he scoops it up into his abdomen and it compresses it into little blocks. And then he pushes those blocks into giant skyscrapers because there's so much garbage. And the reason well, isn't, the, isn't the world isn't the world just like a giant dump now? Yes, the entire planet is is a dump. There's no living thing on the on the planet, uh, the garbage planet. And Besides all the, the his his um cockroach friend, right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. And all of I've the humans <laughs> went on to this like cosmic arc, arc um, thing, arc like cruise ship thing, where everybody like basically all of humanity is on this giant ship, and. They're everybody's all, everybody's really fat. Space, and everyone's really fat because um, after centuries of just chilling on those chairs and full automation, everyone's really fat and stuff. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a great movie and kind of showing us where we're headed for if we, you know, continue this garbage of climate, climate change. change and everything. And and if Jeff Bezos wants to run the world one day, like the 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 by and large is the 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 company, but I think it's like an homage to like Amazon Costco. slash Walmart. It's like, well, it sounds it sounds very Costco-y, like buy in large, like buy in bulk. Yeah, but True. don't Costco's a good place. Don't you dare. Yeah, hey, yeah I worked. I, I made those chickens real good. Don't worry about it. How dare you? Um, yeah, it's it's a, it's a good message, and 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 uh, he he's just a while he's a kind soul, even though he's a robot, and it's a. Is it it's is a there great family family? Isn't the thrust of the film that there's a little plant, like the first plant life in like a long time, found in like a shoe, or found somewhere? Yes. And he put it in. He puts it in a shoe, or it wasn't a shoe the it, whole time. It was it was growing in the ground, and he oh. put it in a shoe. And and Eva, his 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 boo thing, his the robot is girlfriend, like a, right? A scanning robot who like goes to to Earth to scan to see if humans can find their way back to it or to recolonize the planet. I saw but, a thing. Spoiler oh, sorry, alert! Ahead. Spoiler alert! That go, tries to happen, but then the, uh, the robot autopilot on the boat tries to cover it up because he's like, "I don't want to go back there. I'm out of a job, and I run this town." I saw a theory online. Um, shout out film theories on YouTube. The guy's Matt Pat, so crazy dude. He just has crazy theories about movies and TV shows. Anyway, he had a whole thing about how he thinks that since they put the 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 auto the thing on autopilot and they like they show how many like it's been like a hundred hundreds of years or whatever like a good amount of like time 500 they're, years yeah. they're living on this cruise ship they're like how do they have enough food to feed these people and obviously like, you know that course there's like machines that can make food blah, blah blah but they were saying he was pretty much saying how like they're drinking out of those shake cups a lot those big giant big gulps or super gulps they're saying that since they've been around for so long and everyone's so fat that like because everyone's like kind of pretty much overweight and probably dies 
somewhat early. Like he said, he was like, look around like, every screenshot. There's no like older fat people. Like they're all like, they all no one has gray, no one has gray hair, blah, blah, pretty oh, much up there. The machine that is controlling the ship is pretty much once they hit people hit a certain age or they die, they just grind them up and turn them into food that they're giving back to the people, to the fat people to continue eating. That's how they've been. Oh. Cause if they're on this ship for 500 years. Where are the food coming from? They're in the middle of space. So they're just <laughs> recycling people to keep the keep the civilization around and also to control population. Gross. Ollie's real dark. Efficient, but gross. <laughs> Soil and green. My my vote's still Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my I well, because I haven't seen all of Wally. I've seen most of Wally, I guess, but I also like Toy Story just as a landmark movie is just like, you know. Agreed. I think just like, to create like it's just like the toys come to life and it's just so and then you're not know, like buzz not knowing he's a toy he actually thinks he's a space ranger and then finding out he's actually a toy and accepting that it's like that's a whole freaking you are a toy a child's play thing yeah agreed i'm gonna go with toy story as well because like you can't. Right. like wally's a great movie and it's but on my list for a reason but you if can't it had a diff- if it didn't have if it had a different matchup right it might have gone forward but yeah yeah Toy Story being as low as it did continues it on all right, so next up on the Brack Heat. It's me is, versus Brian again. Oh, so number four, Hercules, which oh. is you, Kev. Mm-hmm. And number five is Emperor's New Groove. Brian. Why would you this, like to go first? This is a tough matchup. Well, um, this is this is a I think this is a battle of like more of a humor, humorous comedy movie versus a really heartfelt hero's journey like it's very but also different. has comedy in it. no it definitely has funny moments but i think not i would not say hercules is as funny as no, no, no 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 of course not so arguments both of you probably would you like to go first i went first you, last go, time. you go first i just went okay um so hercules, <laughs> yeah hercules was my number two pick um one of my it's also fav- going to be on my list, by the way, but Kev took it in the draft yeah. first. So Hercules is, is one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, just a classic hero story. Um, it's got, you know, Danny DeVito in it. So, you know, <laughs> playing great. the playing, playing the, I don't remember his name, the goat guy. Say, is Phil. This- Philatides. Oh, Phil- Philatides, yes. Yeah. And if they ever made a live action Hercules movie, he should um, just play himself. But like, in why, it. why haven't they done that? Why haven't they know. done it? It's they so should. easy to do it. Like they made like live they remade action the, everything else. They yeah, made a live so action easy. Lion King, which is not good because the, the animals couldn't express their facial features because they're animals now. Yeah, and then Boom was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the live action Hercules. Live action Hercules, and I'll play Hercules. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice. Oh, who put the clan in gladiator? Will the rise? So <laughs> no, the, but the music on the movie is, is the music in Hercules top, is top fantastic. Notch. Oh, I mean, yeah. the muses singing their, their, their oh yeah, so good. And Zero to yeah, hero. Zero to like hero that. is great. Um, you have I can go the distance, which is probably one of my favorite Disney songs. That's a ever. that's top song. It just the story of it is great, and then you I mean you have some History. comedic moments. And the Kev, I mean, it's technically Greek, well, Greek, Greek mythology. Greek God, mythology. So that's that goes in the history category. So history it's like right up your esque. alley. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the the like the two little minions that work for uh, Hades are hilarious. You mean like, you mean James Payne, Woods? Pain and yeah, panic. James Woods. Yeah. If if it's good. If it's or good. like the you know the the kind of like internet meme sensation that were like, what are those when it like. <laughs> we to talk about shoes. What it start, are you wearing? What, what oh, no, are those? He, he say says, what? Those? Yes, he does. He says, what I are those? Pretty, pretty flashy. Stock and We're flashy. Comfortable. Very comfy. And then, then the other guy's uh, sipping. <laughs> <laughs> thirsty? Uh, th- thirsty? Yeah. It's, and, you know, he gives up his powers just to, you know, save her, save his, his love interest. Megara. Meg. And it's a, it's a great movie. And James Woods, is, around... James Woods is good with as Hades. Like, he has a great. It's just I always as soon as I hear James Woods, I'm like, oh, it's Hades. Yeah, yeah. And, but so it's like between the it's got comedic aspects, it's got great music, and it's got a, a really nice story. So I feel like it kind of is a well rounded film. No arguments there. Well, well, well done, Kev. <laughs> well done. Well, well done. Well, well done. done. All right, now. Hercules, 1997. Let's go a little bit further. 
to 2000 with The Emperor's New Y2K. Move. Yes. Which is another one that if they made a live action of it, just keep the same people. I would say you have David Spade with <laughs> it's a so with easy. With it's a so llama. easy. Well, David Spade is a CG llama and then, oh no, as himself and then turn yeah. into a CG as llama. As Cusco. Yeah. And, and John then you got Goodman, John Pancho. Goodman is Pacha. John, and then John Goodman just needs to put a poncho on and he is the same character. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> And then whoever and then, the lady oh, is. Oh, Yzma lady is the yeah. lady. She, she died. She died. Oh, that's right. She oh, did die. She no. did pass away. Peace. She was Madame, Madame Zeroni. Yeah, from, that's uh, right. From Holes. Classic good movie as well. If oh, Holes is a good movie. For me, the that's also <laughs> Disney, isn't it? Carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain. Well, I can oh. use that too. Why that's, is she Yoda? <laughs> that's how she sounds. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> well, think, of, think, of, think, of, think of Yzma in this movie. Pull the re- pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. I saw, I saw I'll, something. I'll turn him into funny. a flea. A tiny little flea. And I'll put that I'll flea, put in box. flea in a box. I'll put that box in another box, and then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, <laughs> I'll smash it with a hammer. <laughs> so I've what? never seen. I've never seen that movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I saw something. Um, on on twitter recently it was it was one of those memes that the kids look at memes it was yeah it was a meme it was a meme <laughs> a meme and it was a, a screenshot from early in the movie when isma is on the the throne and uh, it was like a snapshot and said this is what america in at present is like and it's like it's not my responsibility that you have what, what did you say it was again <laughs> um food food <laughs> <laughs> take me away <laughs> Peasants are annoying, aren't they? You have no idea. Oh, uh, <laughs> peasants! And Proof that we, we we cannot forget about because we we say this. I think uh, maybe twice oh, yeah. a day at our at our house is oh, how long has that it. been there? Yeah, how long is that? Oh, with the I tell you about I tell you about Kronk. Uh, no, well, she has also another and also another character who turns just put the outfit on and he's Kronk. Patrick <laughs> yeah. Walton, absolutely. Oh yeah, it's right. <laughs> The bet I think well one of the funniest things in that movie is like where it's like very like it that you kind of forget it's animated for a second because when he's sleeping in his tiny little tent and the camera's like really like the camera animated movie is pulling out and then it zooms back in he's like <gasps> the guy in the cart <laughs> and there's like he didn't pay his bill if we find him we find him if we find him we find Cusco oh yeah it's all coming together and then he like just that zoom back in immediately it's like you forget you're watching a movie that someone drew each frame of and not i re- i remember camera. watching it in the theaters and when they like when he breaks the fourth wall and like pauses the movie oh yeah like when i i was i forget what movie it was i saw like a week or two before i saw that movie it like the movie shut off and like yeah. the like, yeah. power went out or whatever and i, I was like there you probably were well you were remembering so then then when i saw emperor's new groove when the like the reel started going up and everything i was like oh my god it's happening again what the heck's going on in this movie theater and then like he comes up like oh no it's part of the movie but it's just like (laughs) he breaks the fourth wall he goes remember i'm the main character here not him okay (laughs) (laughs) sorry sorry What's then, with the chimp and the bug? Can we get back to <laughs> <laughs> and then the 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 narrating over where Kronk is going through like <laughs> and <laughs> he's got his own um, theme music. See. <laughs> no, see that, but the, the, see that that movie is un un um what's the word relentlessly un, uh, quotable like yeah. every single thing. Cheese, me <laughs> like <laughs> on, no. <laughs> More broccoli. Yeah, more broccoli. And David Spade <laughs> is just British such, puffs. He has, a, <laughs> he has such a funny voice. Like David Spade has such a funny voice. Like, he has a very, yeah, yeah, it's very. Yeah. All I think about is like, I, I see him in like live. And I'm like, you're just Cusco. You're just a llama. <laughs> llama with a blonde when, wig on. He's got um like the devil and the angel on his shoulder. She's like, and I never liked your spinach puffs. <gasps> It's like, it's like look at like look, look at that. It's like hold on. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. Ah, ah. It's like what does no, that no, do? No, no, no. He's got a point. He's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a handstand. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. This this conversation about reminiscing about Emperor's New Groove might be swaying me because I just love that movie. So like, 
I can't not pick Hercules just because it's such a good, well-rounded movie that there's funny, quotable lines, there's great music, and a good story all wrapped into one. See, but I'm looking at I'm looking ahead at the bracket, and I'm like, it really don't, I don't think it really matters what wins this one because I think the next one, the one after, will probably take it out. Hey, I don't know. Possibly, I'm gonna stick, never I'm know. Stick you never with know. New Groove, though, because this movie, is, I was I was leaning a little bit more towards Hercules actually because it was supposed to be on my list, and it's just an amazing movie. But as Will said with this conversation, how funny this movie is, I'm sticking with Emperor's New Groove. It's so good. Are you sticking with Hercules, Kevin said? Yes, I am. I think I'm going to have to go Emperor's New Groove. I'm not going to lie. I love her. I do love Hercules, Hercules, and it's a great kind of movie. But just like I honestly could probably have this little podcast just to be about Emperor's New Groove, which we, <laughs> we may have to do sometime in the future. Just reenact the entire yeah. thing because it's so freaking funny. Um, well, also, it's like nostalgia. We like watch that movie over and over and laugh like our asses off all the time. Re- quoted yeah. nonstop. So good. So Emperor's New, Mo- New Groove moves on. Yeah. Ew. So the next one, it's finally not me. So um, Tarzan against Ratatouille. But Brian's um, number, your number, number one? one. This what? is my number one. Yeah. And against my number three. I think because I had first pick, my, my it's one versus three here. Oh, okay. Um, so my number three pick was Ratatouille, and your pick, number one pick, was Tarzan. Yes. So would you like to start or do you want me to start? <laughs> Um, you can start with a ratatouille. Ratatouille. Okay. First of all, um, I like food. So who doesn't? The food in the movie is beautiful. I, I've always wanted French, to make ratatouille. I've, I, I've, I've, we, me and Emma's made it. It's, it. We made it a couple of times. It's really good. It's a. It's, it's very vegetarian, Brian. It's a vegetarian just delight. Big fan. So you just gotta. You just gotta. It's time consuming because you gotta chop everything up and then lay it all in that circular pattern in the pan. But after that. And a tomato I need base. To get one of those, one of those little knife things that mom. Man, like the out. yeah. <laughs> the what? The the man. I think it's called a mandolin. Oh, a mandolin. Uh, yeah. yeah, the thing that, yeah. that goes back. Yeah, and forth. mom shaved her knuckle off. Yeah, you can't. You, yeah. you gotta have to use you the. You like the, the the bendy part where the skin is like has yes. the lines on it. Yeah, All it that was gone, and you could still see the lines on that chunk of skin. It was gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Yeah, they they uh, well, I don't, we don't have one. You just you just did old fashioned. Took some time to just with a chop knife. It up. Ugh, you barbarian. Well, just didn't have the tool. Seems like way too much effort, isn't it? It's like eggplant and zucchini. It's eggplant, and... zucchini, tomatoes. I think I think a, I think yellow, a yellow squash. squash, which is pretty much a zucchini, no, but not. Yellow. I was um, just an underripe zucchini. Anyway, the, the movie right to it, not the movie. Dish. The dish. Well, the dish is delicious. You should try it one time if you have time. Dish um, is delish. The dish is delish. Um, I just, it's just a good movie. Like you, you and like most of the time you think of, and like thinking of a rat, like they thought we talked about mouses a lot. Mice. I mean, mouses, mouses, mouses. mouses. the mouses um, all the mice stuff. And like mice are supposed to be cute and lovable and stuff, but then you usually don't see rats. Are they? Even, well, they're cuter than rats. Rats are pretty gross. Like comparatively, they're bigger, like- they're scarier. Like, but a little a little mouse, he's, you know, there was one in my apartment in Brooklyn one time. I had video of him on our stove eating scraps off of, the, of a, a pan I left out. And I, no, I remember, actually, it was, we made. How zu- adorable. We made, <laughs> zu- made. You made ratatouille. No, we, we made. He came out. It was actually like zucchini boats. We put like some stuff in the zucchini boats and baked it. And I remember now thinking about it. I'm like, that is, that was Remy from ratatouille because it was zucchini right there. And it's like part of a ratatouille. Wow. Right. So other than your did you, did you put him underneath your hat? I wanted to, but he ran away too fast. Oh. <laughs> um, I just well, you don't you I'll say, but you don't see rats very often as like, you know, characters because they're kind of gross. Um, and it was just I don't know, voiced by Patton Oswald, and he's cool. And then um and it's food, and it's just like and it's a great idea having the like having the rat be under the hat, and he's doing stuff, and then yeah, and the guy's name is Linguini, looks just like Brian. And <laughs> what? <laughs> I look nothing like that guy. <laughs> I look absolutely nothing like Linguini. Sorry, get the hell out of Sorry. here. Sorry, I had to. Um... <laughs> I, Brian I... needs to be like curly red hair. I mean, yeah, you got no you're beard. tall and lanky, and you got the big schnozzle. That's about it. <laughs> well, his his no his schnozzle is, is very big. It's most of his face. 
Uh, I don't have I don't have, I don't have much notes to this movie. More just like I just love the food. I love the the, the fun idea of it. It's just like a, and also just like the seeing like the Frenchness of it is very the, the very the very Parisian and whatnot. A little it, very it's Parisian. a very very original cool yeah. idea. But the lot, like lot, it's not, nothing has been done like that before. Right. It was really which really is like, I always appreciate because I think sometimes stories can get very like like you know oh I've seen that before that's like this but you know yeah. like, but blah blah. blah. Like what is yeah. like well, technically the Tarzan story has been made plenty of times. That this is this Disney version is not the first time Tarzan has been made. Yeah, there's other Tarzan iterations before it, but like yeah, George of the Jungle. Action. Well, George of <laughs> the Jungle, I don't think counts. Yeah, well, well, basically, basically, like, Tarzan. Old, well, no, but the tar- Tarzan, but tar- the Tarzan movie, like, like the mythos, story. and also but I'm sure like there's been a tar. I'm gonna look it up. There's been a Tarzan movie that like probably was like in the the, the 40s. There, there was. It was black and white and everything. Right. Uh, well, that oh, they they, well, they remade the Tarzan in live action with uh, Skarsgård, which when Margot, um, with Alex Alexander Skarsgård, and uh, uh-huh. Ma- Margot Margot Robbie plays Jane. It's not good. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there's a oh, there's a 1918 movie called Tarzan of the Apes, and it's like Planet it is, of the Apes, but with Tarzan. But it's yeah. well, it's pretty much Tarzan and Jane, but it came out in 1918, so it's been a it's an old ass movie. It looks like it's a silent movie. I can't tell. Probably 1918. This guy who played Tarzan has a chin the size of a planet. He looks like the Crimson Chin. It's insane. You can land a plane on that chin. Yeah, it's nuts. Okay, but so, uh, uh, so just just I based on to just Tarzan? based on sure, but just based on. Story wise, right to a completely original Tarzan, just a remake of something old with a Phil Collins soundtrack. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for stealing my first point. And that was, I could just, that's your only right point. There. That's your only no, it's point. Not. No, it's not. <laughs> Phil Collins went so hard with this soundtrack and it, like so it, hard. One of the best soundtracks of a Disney movie. And uh, who, who can forget Rosie O'Donnell as Turk? <laughs> As Need the, I say more? As the young Clayton. Yeah. Clayton. Every and, time and I also, hear a loud bang or something, I say that out loud to myself. <laughs> I hear like a firework in the background. I'm like, Clayton. <laughs> Clayton. And, and also Wayne Knight is the elephant dude. Newman. Yeah, Newman. And yeah, the, 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 this is a really, really sweet story about love and loss. And and Tarzan and is a really cool dude, and yeah, it's a it's a great sweet story. And the the Tarzan rocks my socks off, and um, yeah, Phil Collins went hardcore, and it's just a really cool a really cool. Um, I wanna know picture. Yeah, can, can you, you show, show me? Show me? And then you got and, the, the other one, the 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 one that's like you dance with your mom at your wedding to. Um, I don't think that one wah, was wah, Phil wah, Collins. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I that one. Um, no, I'm saying that's what I'm gonna dance with my mother. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What's the song I'm thinking of though? I can't. You're thinking, it. Don't stop your crying. Okay, it will, it will be, be all right. right. Damn, Phil Just Collins. Take my, my hand. My hand. Hold it tight. tight. I'm gonna call mom and tell her that I will protect you from all around you. I will be here. Don't Don't you you cry. cry. You'll You'll be in my heart. (laughs) I can feel it coming (laughs) in. That's the same. That's the same uh, soundtrack, right? Yeah. No, that's from the Hangover soundtrack. (laughs) Oh right, right, right. sorry. (laughs) Yeah, well, you guys are already married, so when my time comes, then I'm going to tell mom, you can't come unless we're... (laughs) (laughs) That would actually be pretty funny, like, working out with the DJ, be like, all right, play that song, and it's like, and it's like, I'm just kidding, and then it's like... No, but it starts with, like, weird, like, uh, noises, like, ting, 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 like... (laughs) No, 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 next track, they have the the CD or the record of the Tarzan soundtrack, and they got to move the needle a little bit. No, next one, next one. They, uh, they did they press that to vinyl probably <laughs> they should have i'm looking it up because i might buy it i'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> i'm not i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna buy it I'm gonna, right, well yeah. are your are your votes staying the same uh yes i'm gonna stay ratatouille versus tarzan 
I'm I'm sticking with with Tarzan. It's just a classic. Okay, I am going to change. You know, I'm going to be the deciding factor, and I'm going to pick. Tarzan, moving on. Oh, oh I, I thought, thought you were going to do the thing. I thought you were doing that bullshit that you were doing me again. I, I got to keep you guys on their was, toes. That's why I was smiling. I'm like, oh, he's singing the song of Tarzan, which means he's going to go, Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah, I thought that you were going to do that classic. Oh, you tricked you got, me. I got to keep excited. you on your toes. I was excited, I for my, toes. My exci- I was excited for the, to be surprised. That's hey, right, guys. but now you don't Damn, know. Damn, son. They have Tarzan soundtrack on vinyl at Walmart for $20. Yeah. $20? That's yeah. That's an investment. That's, expen- right that's expensive for that. No, it's not. Vinyl, brand new press vinyls these days go to like $35, $40. I don't have, I just use Spotify. I don't got time. I don't got storage for that stuff. Uh, well, when all the, the cassettes and the CDs and the digital age, when society crumbles and all that's gone, I'll still be listening to music. All sure, right, well, but like the I, Tarzan soundtrack, baby. It's like, Brian, <laughs> please, I, I need to hear the soundtrack. I haven't heard music in 40 years. Because no, I got, I got, I got the machines, because like... the machines, took <laughs> over. it's the wall, it's the Wally future. I need to hear your, your old school vinyl. Well, doesn't your, doesn't your record player play on like electricity and technology? It's not an old school one, or just like a belt well, and yeah, a motor. I, yeah, I don't, I don't need, um, the internet or anything to use right, but he also it's on a moving platform which he could just take off and like spin if he really needed to well yeah but i, bet well, I think but i think the speaker i think the speakers, speakers are still yeah. amplified for it yeah no then you just get one of them like you know megaphone looking old deals old phones it where it's yeah, called like the oh, parlor phones or something like gramophones that. yeah yeah, yeah. parlor phones a record company sorry sorry i'm so sorry sorry oh you That's... how dare you okay so uh, tarzan moves on on to next the next show Next act up is number three is Lion King versus number six Monsters Inc. So uh, who's number th- who's around Lion King? Is that you? My, Lion King was my number one, yes. And then Monsters Inc. is my number dose. Um, yes. So you want to start, Kev? Since you didn't sure. talk before. Uh, Lion King is a phenomenal film. I mean, if we're gonna go off of like we're talking, we're talking the original, the original animated one, not the new yeah one. Just making sure. <laughs> um the this hurts it a little bit but the story is basically it's hamlet. hamlet it's hamlet. So, basically it I was, is that was literally that was literally going to be my my retort to why it's see, not as original but you know i'm doing an, i'm doing an m&m on it you know i'm bringing it back you know doing your argument first so that you can't come at me um the wow yeah the story is you know it's an adaptation but it's a original adaptation of it you know who would have thought like you know what hamlet like the Picture the pitch meeting. All right, guys. Hamlet, Hamlet by Shakespeare. But lions. But lions. <laughs> wait, wait. All right, so we got Hamlet, but it's <laughs> freaking lions, man. And then you're going to have a meerkat and a boar, and then there's also going to be friends. hyenas. And there's going to also be a bird in there. <laughs> Trust this, me, it's going to be phenomenal. And they're all going to talk. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. Uh, guys, who, plays, who, plays, who plays Pumbaa in the original one? I don't okay. know. Thanks. Google that. I, I mean, I know Nathan Lane is. T- is I would say I know Nathan Lane is Timon. I just don't know. I just can't think of the guy who's Pumba. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Sorry. think it's like a really name actor. It's not Will Arnett. Um, <laughs> no, that was that was him saying sorry for farting. It sounded like you were going with the Will Arnett the Reese's. Reese's commercial. <laughs> not like, sorry, uh, Reese. But who could? But like the speaking of voices, the the cast of voices in this movie, which I am so glad for the original great. one, for the original, the newer one. I mean, they kept James Earl Jones as Mufasa. Oh, I mean, because you could, on. they're even if they, even if they tried, they could not get a a better Mufasa voice. No, he no is way. Mufasa. They, I don't. In the newer one, the animated one, they made. Um, God, the guy's name is so difficult to pronounce. Two, 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 or four, edgy of four, or something. I think that's the name. I said it. I probably butchered it. But he's playing Scar, and mm-hmm. it just doesn't have the same gravitas as um, uh, Jeremy. Irons. Jeremy Irons, like the just his. He's got that. He is Scar. I can't think yeah. of a better Scar than him. He is. That's why, like in the Justice League and whatnot, when they have Jeremy Alfred. Irons as Alfred, it's like mm, no, no. Alfred, Alfred oh, needs right. to be. He's he's like, Scar. M- my, more Michael Caine is Michael more Kine. an Alfred, Alfred, I think, or even just yeah. like just any more posh British man. He, he's just got his like, he's got that gravel that like yeah, he's gritty. He's a gritty British guy. He's got yeah, he's he's like uh, Pumbaa is Ernie Sabella. 
Don't who plays who Zazu? Zazu is Rowan Atkinson. Zazu is Mr. Bean. I just yeah. found right. that out this okay. afternoon. Yeah. yeah. That's why I know and, his and, voice. And, is... and Simba is Matthew Broderick. Yes. Old, old Simba, and but young Simba is John, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yes. And for perhaps uh, besides James Earl Jones, but maybe, I don't know, the most famous person who voiced anybody in this movie. Could you guys guess who the most famous person is? Beyonce. Nathan she, Lane. She, no, no, she's not in, Nathan she's Lane. A, Beyonce voices um, Nala in the newer movie. I'm no, no, talking, yeah, I'm talking about 1994. Oh. Uh, um, Can you guess who the most... I mean, this is... Oh, so Whoopi my, Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg absolutely, is hyena. Absolutely. That's yeah. correct. Shen yes. Z is Whoopi Goldberg. Who's... Pasa. um? Ooh, who plays man. Nala and Sarabi? Think, Sarabi? Uh, let, yeah, I don't well, think young, I don't think they're Nala their name. is Moira Moira Kelly, some white lady. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think is. they're. Yeah, that's the one thing that they did in the newer one. They casted more. Um, yeah, that's that. That's a, the, more the appropriate good voice actors for some of these characters. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Sarabi is Madge Sinclair. Never, never heard of them. Yeah, some of these, I think some people like did more voice acting back then and just weren't because I think yeah, nowadays happens. nowadays there are people who are like they're famous. So let's put them in the movie to have people see the movie. It used to be if yeah. you have a good voice, you do the voice acting. I feel like now it's like that still happens in some things, but it's like now it's like, oh, if this is a big movie, big animated movie. We need to have people voices of people they know, so they'll go see the yeah. movie. Yeah, which is, well, which one is of the other uh, not great. The other hyena is uh, Cheech. Yes. Who? Cheech and Chong. Cheech, Cheech and Chong. Cheech and the Chong. one guy. Is oh. You know, you saw him. You know, yeah, he's the one who's the has the more of. The oblong head, the middle one, not not Ed, who's chewing. Well, his yeah, because Ed doesn't even then... say anything. <laughs> no, Ed, Ed. Is Jim, Ed is Jim Cummings. It's a real dude. <laughs> All right. Well, somebody had to do his voice and his laugh. I do. You guys remember when we used to watch it as kids? When they when Simba's running off into the distance after the hyenas chase him into the spiky pit. Mom used to mute the mute movie the TV because yep. when he screams, she I'll kill screams, you. if you come back, we'll just kill you. And I was like, yeah. that's not a nice talk. So she <laughs> muted it every single time we'd watch the movie. And I remember yeah. watching it later in life. And I'm like, I actually have no idea what they say there because she always <laughs> muted it at that time. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, oh, I remember that, that. Must be, that must be just because it came out in 94, bro. You were not alive for three more yeah. years. So we watched, yeah, like, we probably that. watched it. We probably watched the crap out of that movie before you were born, and we watched yeah. it probably more to that. Oh, that's oh. so funny. <laughs> well, I mean, other than you know the great voice acting, as we as we said, the um the songs you have Circle ah, of Life. I wake up every morning to because that's M's alarm song on her on her phone is. Ah, ah, which is you know, and the sun's rising, but it's also like now it's like kind of that song. I kind of messed my I brain up. I can't not hear it because I remember Lee. Our neighbor oh, yeah. growing up would t- told us, you know what they're saying in that song? No, they're saying pink pajamas with penguins on the bottom. Pink so it's like pink pajamas, penguins, penguins, on, the penguins, on, the penguins on the bottom. Pink pajamas, penguins yeah. on the bottom. Even Which is not I know, true. I think, not it's a, I think it's an African dialect. It is. It, it is. Yeah. But yeah, like, I, don't, I don't think Lee spoke African. So I don't <laughs> no, think that's right. But that's what it sounds like. Lee, if you're so listening, that's all I can hear. You're Shout really out wrong. Lee. Uh, yeah, Lee. Yeah, you, sorry you don't speak African. Or whatever the language was, yeah. And but you know I, what? Elton John in this picture. Yeah, he's Can a music. you feel the love tonight? Mm-hmm. Sorry, but when, Na- when, when Nala does that, gives like the bedroom eyes to Simba in that one scene. <laughs> yeah, she's like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's it's, going it, did some, it did something from, from my, my four, five, six year old self. An animated oh, lie. An she does the, you know, you know, you know exactly the scene I'm talking about. She goes like, I know, because she went, she goes like the, <laughs> Like the eyes down, like hey, hey, boy, what's up? But you know what's uh, you know what's kind of gross about that though? Um, that I was uh, I was into a, a cartoon lion. Besides that, no, 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 no. Uh, Simba, Simba, and lion were, mo- and Simba and um, Nala. Nala were were most likely cousins. Yes. yes. Well, because though, like Mufasa the is the only male lion, so he like mm. does, he was, you know, so technically he half, fathers- technically half sister. Yeah, he. Oh, yeah. Fathered, never mind. He cousin. fathers all the the other lions, and then yeah, but so that's more. Simba that's 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 a human. That's a human like thing we put onto that. Like we're not supposed to be with our, you know, our our direct relative because right. of well, inbreeding. I mean, but mm, I think because no, it still happens with animals. No, it does. That, but that's I'm why. It's not that's as... why like French bulldogs are like they die because yeah. they can't breathe. 
Yeah, I think when, I think when the genetic code is too close, humans, <laughs> animals, whatever, something gets all screwed up. For sure. But I think it's I think it's more of like a it's well for us it's more of a social thing, but biologically that still happens, I guess. But I don't know. I just don't just don't think about it. It's Lion King. Come on. Oh, okay. okay. The scene <laughs> that I always think about that makes me that makes me crack up is uh, I mean, other than the the awesome music, but the the one scene like, what do you want me to do? Make a distraction? What do you want me to dress up and drag and do the hula? Hoo-ah. <laughs> Hoo-ah. <laughs> And also, it's can like you, one of the greatest cuts in movie history. Can right you there. can you also not forget this movie is the originator of a Hakuna Matata? Like, oh, oh yeah, oh, that's what a wonderful a, phrase. What a wonderful ha! Ah, you beat me too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful phrase. What a wonderful phrase. No, um, what's what? It's our motto. What's the motto? Nothing. What's, wrong with what's you? the motto with you? <laughs> what's the motto with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get. I, I saw something um like that when when Timon and Pumbaa met up with simba they they pushed bugs on him so hard and like to make them seem so delicious so that he wouldn't want to eat them <laughs> oh for sure so he was like a yeah. predator to them 100 percent. yeah so funny well i mean we i mean if we're going into the science of it all we could probably end world hunger if we socially ate bugs more yeah they have the good side good sp- they have a lot uh, of protein, protein and they're they you know populate so quick like cr- crickets and different things they have they make that yeah, but it's just not wildly used. Like, you know, no, we, it's, you know, ate instead of having, you know, beef oh. and had crickets instead. Cricket burger. Who wants a cricket burger? I'm putting cricket burgers on the grill. <laughs> it just, uh, I, I don't I don't think that would ever catch on it unless all no. livestock but it, died. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of it's weird. Like, it's like, ew, bugs. They're gross. We would never eat them. But then you like, look at me like, but that sea bug that lobster which is basically or a crab which is basically a sea insect that's gourmet (laughs) but do bugs have meat inside like that i guess they're too small yeah yeah Yeah. but it's just like a different kind i I, uh, you guys are saying it very confidently so i believe you um okay let's move on let's let's, let's go to my pick uh monsters inc um let's talk about voice acting also this is this this, uh, monsters inc has some solid voice acting um, and also just another Pixar doing a really great original idea. Yeah. Like there's monsters in your closet, but they're actually coming in to scare you to from a different dimension <laughs> from, from, yeah, from a, from a different, like, you know, parallel pocket dimension that they live in for where the monsters just normally live. And they're collecting your screams to power their like houses and like their electricity. Like who, like who, like also did like a, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we're at the table and be like, "All right, so there's monsters, and they come okay, in the so- closet to scare you, and they use it for electricity." It's like we have, we have we have we have Billy Crystal coming out of the closet to get one, he has one. He's got one giant big eye. <laughs> uh, well, but then, well, then it just turns. Is nice that John Goodman too? Yeah, yeah, yeah John, John Goodman, Goodman. Man, he's got he's he's got a, a killer uh, list of voice acting roles, I think. And but Steve Buscemi is in this film as well. Steve Buscemi is um my, my my old neighbor. Steve Buscemi. Yes. He is I've, not your, you saw him once on the street. We've, we've seen him three times. <laughs> thrice. Actually. Thrice. We saw him thrice. And one time, was, we, we were going into the UPS to mail a package. We held the door open for him and he left. And we're like, hey, what's happening? You, you said hi to Steve Buscemi? No, we didn't say hi. We just saw, we, we, he like walked past. I think, I think it was, I can't remember if it was pandemic times it might have been we might have been wearing a mask but i definitely could see that so I know you that, don't know no we know we, can, like, we know those like eyes this. anywhere oh, that's steve buscemi <laughs> you wouldn't notice notice steve buscemi's eyes have you seen him come on yeah i, I suppose but did, did he say thank you for holding the door open i think so i can't remember M, M held it for him i was behind her damn i can't believe we, we made got out with steve buscemi that's crazy. we made out with him you made out with steve buscemi all right well no i didn't but uh cool um yeah he's he's randall yeah. In the movie, he's the bad guy, but not the big bad guy. The big bad oh. guy is what a noose. Yeah. The spider guy. Spider guy. The, the crab dude. Spider crab. Sp- yeah, he's a spider weird crab man. Yeah. Uh, and then you there's got... only one. There's only one song in the movie though. Put that thing back where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had the musical at the end. Well, the so end healthy. of it. Yeah, but that's he's like during the credits. Out of our head. I would still consider oh. that part of the movie, Kev, because that's during the credits. Still, that's still within the runtime. I guess that's not a separate. That's not a separate thing. You know what's crazy? The the uh, the voice of Fungus, uh, Randall's like henchman uh-huh. dude. That's Frank Oz. You know who else? Uh, that's Frank Oz Yoda. voices. Mm-hmm. That's for, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's Oyota and also Grover from Sesame yeah. Street. 
Uh, I did not know those Frank. I thought I thought it was just some other random person. I I would not think I was Frank Oz. Interesting. IMDb does not lie. It could, but it does usually doesn't. Um, How dare you? But just yeah. Okay, so and original... the, the guy who the Yeti guy is a uh, ham from yeah. Uh, he's in from every Cheers. John John Rattensburger. He's in yeah, the guy every from Cheers. single. Every I got single snow cones. Picture. Well, he's such They're a great lemon. voice. Well, we didn't talk about it in Toy Story, but the guy who plays Rex is like the like, inconceivable guy from from Princess Bride, and I love him. Mm-hmm. Um, well, okay, we got off off topic though, but just a, a really great original idea. And also, you have Boo, the cutest thing ever in a, in a movie. Boo, Kitty, <laughs> Kitty, just the, <gasps> just all around good. And then yeah, and then having kids being poisonous, but they're not really poisonous, and it's a whole. Th- it's like you know. It's just good. a lie fed to people. Yeah, it's it's all, it, it was all a conspiracy. 2319. <laughs> um, yeah, just great, just great all around. So choose wisely, folks. All right, so I'm gonna stick with Lion King. Will you sticking with Monsters Inc.? I don't Monsters know. Inc. It's hard because it's like, yes, it is not as original because it is just Hamlet with lions, but it's so classic and I'm gonna go with Lion King. I can't. Monsters oh. Inc. Is, Monsters Inc. is really great, but I think Monsters Inc. is good. It's you great. Didn't it's... turn in your paperwork last night. Mike Wazowski. Mike well, Wazowski. Yeah, I know it doesn't matter, but I'm going with Monsters Inc. I think yeah. it's just a more entertaining movie. Oh. And the and I, if, I, if we were gonna put a Lion King on the board, Lion King one and a half should have been on there. That one is the best <laughs> out of all. That is true. I like everything the, the light touches. Belongs, belongs to somebody, to somebody else. else. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere else with that. <laughs> the the bloopers at the end of uh, Monsters Inc. Two is great when they like pull up the twenty three nineteen and they pull it down and it's it's Roz. <laughs> <laughs> There's no monster that. in your closet. And you open it up. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> like they had to. That's, those aren't bloopers that like just outtake. They have they to have animate, animate those. those. No, that's I know. So funny. <laughs> that's why it's so great. It's like, yeah. hey, we did this, we just did this whole movie. Let's do a funny thing at the end that's gonna take us another like two months to make. Because also, like, because also, like, if you watch it now, you th- might think that Mike Wazowski's fur looks a little like too crispy. Like his fur, like they had to generate a full like computer system just to generate his fur all over his body and the way it, the physics and he moves, so the hair then moves with him correctly. That took yeah. a whole separate system to do, but now looking at it, it looks kind of primitive versus the hair systems they have now. Well, I mean, 2001, programs. you know, it's 20, 20 years old. It's pretty good for 2001. And Monsters University was actually pretty good, too. I, I had to rewatch it. I've only seen it once. They threw, and I it, remember... it threw the timeline off, though. Who cares? <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, it's just universe. a fun movie. <laughs> just saying. All right, so Lion King moves on, and uh, we should take a quick, quick break. That's the, end of the, that's the bottom of the bracket, so... Take a quick break and we'll wrap this thing up. All right, we'll be right back. Brothers rise. And we're back. All right. Moving, moving back. So back we're going to move top. up to the top. So now this is my number one Aladdin versus Toy Story. Oof. This is, is when these, these are when this is gets crazy tough. Because these are all like going to be like our first picks, at, you know, our, the top of the tops going against top of the tops. Um, well, we didn't talk about Aladdin much yet, so right. or at all, really. So you well, go ahead. Yeah. So Aladdin, one of my faves. Growing up, what year? What year did Aladdin come out, Brian? Nineteen ninety-two. Oh wow, he's on it. So this was like primo. I'm you know two, probably two, three, four years old while I'm watching this. Like I'm saying, because I watched it probably on VHS after it came out and blah blah blah. Yeah. And um, he was in our best actor bracket. Robin Williams playing Genie. Mm. You cannot mm. beat it. Even if Will, Will Smith tries, he can't. Like he did his own way in that newer animated, the new live action one. I mean, he did his own thing, which is good because if he tried to copy what Robin Williams did, he would fail miserably. He Absolutely. made it, he, he made a fresh Prince of Agrabah. He did his thing and uh, it was okay. And the movie itself was okay. But just the original Aladdin is just one of my faves always well it's also like is it nostalgia of me that i love it so much or is it actually just a legit good movie don't know <laughs> it's opinion based so who knows a little bit of both yeah good songs fun songs um and just the whole thing like you know being a street rat 
but also he's but still a really good person. That when he, I don't buy that. <laughs> Let's not be too hasty. I think he's rather, rather tasty. <laughs> <laughs> um. Also, probably helped me when I was younger watching this when I was probably a little more up in the age six, seven, eight. That I thought Jasmine was drop dead hot, gorgeous. Oh, just Jasmine's love an She is. A Will dime. likes the animated. Uh, well, at human least she, at least she's a human this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, did well did Jasmine ever give Aladdin the bedroom eyes with the as Nala did with the? Not as much, but she doesn't need to. She's a princess. And she's not oh, an sorry. object. She's not an object to be won. She's not a prize to be won. That's prize right. to be won. Oh, object. I That's said right. object. Well, in the newer, in the, in the live action one, they do give Jasmine more of a part than they did in the, in the original animated one, which I did appreciate. Like they gave her more of a, more of a character, even though, even though Jasmine in the original is, you know, a strong female lead in it. Right, and she does break the mold of like the princess. Like she's not something that's got to be not, like yeah, saved she's not, or whatever. She's not daz- damsel in distress. She's not like mm-hmm. sitting waiting there for the guy. Like she's no, she's she's a boss ass bitch on her in her own right. But they gave her right. a little more to do in the live action one, which I did appreciate. But the rest of the movie is bleh. Um, so I don't know, just it's just it's just so good. Like Robin Williams as the genie can't be beat. No, and yeah. J- Jafar is like J- Jafar is like a legit all-star villain like he's not like there's not like so, sometimes villains are like they're misunderstood they think they're right but they're really good on the other side of the coin blah blah, blah. it's like no jafar is evil start to finish no yeah. if ands or buts he just you know, wants he's power the, he just wants power he just is a, he literally turns himself into a snake but he was a snake the whole time like it's just all around good i mean and speaking of jafar yeah you've been living space go ahead <laughs> um oh and forget I was saying the best character in the movie voice acting. is Gilbert Godfrey. Oh yeah, Iago. And I think in the live action one, they don't have the, the parrot really talk at all. I'm like, that is yeah. a freaking. It's criminal. It's yeah, criminal is the good word for Do it. You, it's well, terrible. Give me your give me your best impression of Gilbert Godfrey <laughs> from Aladdin. What's a what's a or anything? Just have him say words that are relevant to Aladdin, but in your Gilbert Godfrey voice. Uh... I want to see what this does. Aladdin. <laughs> I probably blew my mic out. Let me check my levels. Oh, wow. The peak is huge in there. I might have to edit that a little bit. My God. I guess does that mean you're laughing because it's good? It's so yeah, short. that's it. Sure. I'm trying, to think, I'm trying to think of a line Affleck. that he says. I know I can't think of it. What, like, what, I don't calm, know why I can't. He, he calm, says, yourself, calm yourself, Iago. Calm yourself, Iago. That, I don't, know, I don't remember that. what he says that he makes he makes him calm down. Yeah, what, what's a what's a quintessential line from the movie that he says? I, I don't I can't remember any. I remember I, him. I remember, I remember all one, the scenes he's in, but I can't remember what he says. I remember he complains about the crackers. The the, the Sultan always gives him the crackers. Oh, if yeah. I have to eat one more cracker. <laughs> yeah. Gilbert Godfrey is plays like exclusively birds in a lot of pictures. He's at, he's the Affleck he, duck. He's the Affleck duck. He's, he's Yago. Yago. He's that. He's that bird from cyberspace. Remember that old ass cartoon? Nope. No. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> Not well, at it's all. like these. It's like these kids that they solve like problems using math or whatever. It sounds like an educational t- television show. We didn't. It, watch. it was. It was a PBS show that was on before school started. All right. So this is Aladdin versus Toy Story. Mm. It's our childhood. I, I am. It out. I am uh, without words. I think I know where I'm leaning. Well, Brian and is where, the deciding where is, and factor. And where is that? Oh, well, Brian, <laughs> Brian goes last because I'm going right, to stick with right. Toy Story because Toy Story has just been just such a, like, there's no Aladdin 2, 3, and 4. Um, it definitely is. There was there's yeah, Aladdin 2, there's, Far's Revenge, I think. Yeah. Or like, and there was, and also, there, was also, there was also a... Um, a 40, 40 thieves or something yeah. movie, but so there's, they're not. There's, there's they're not actual, but they're not actually well, they like they theatrical weren't. releases. And also, I Toy Story is an original movie. story. Yeah, what's what's whereas what's Aladdin? Aladdin is not. Aladdin is an old myth, uh, like Aladdin Arabian the Lamp myth. Yeah, has been oh, and a Gene the Lamp story. Too, yeah, has been but, used but, over but, time. Uh, I don't. I think maybe like they took like a, a genie and the lamp, a la, like a. a uh, you know, Arabian no, Street. Arabian Nights is a story. Like they've 
that but, has but Aladdin it, and a genie in it. Yeah, it's oh, a does whole, it? Okay. Yeah, it's just I thought it was it's, like if there was aspects of different things put no, together. Think to make about Aladdin. think about how there's like you know Sleeping Beauty and all those stories come from other stories and they're actually really really um, dark, but yeah. then Disney makes them nice. It's kind like of the, the same thing. Um, what's it called? Like the like the grim grim fairy tales. Yeah, Brothers Grimm. Brothers Grimm fairy tales. All right, it's true. It's true. So well, um, I'm gonna stick Aladdin just because it's it's my one. It's my it's my like if somebody asks like what's your favorite Disney movie, I say Aladdin. That's just how I I roll. So I have to stick with it. So Bry, I'm also going with Aladdin. Mm. Uh, Toy Story, you can't. It's it's hard to. It's these are these are hard to beat. These are hard. Yeah. These are hard matchups. Yeah, extremely. All All right, right, so that moves on. So it's Aladdin going on. Moving on. Um, should we? Oh, I'll go down here then. So then now it's now it's uh, Tarzan versus Lion King, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Tarzan versus Lion King. Um, for me, it's not much of a contest. No way. But I don't even I don't know where you're leaning. So well, I was gonna say he, he like uh huh for sure. Well, I mean, Lion King was my number one, so I'm mm. stick sticking there. No. Don't stop your crying, it'll be all Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that's my thing. You can't take sorry, that. sorry, sorry. Yeah, I can't have Lion King beat. Um, like I mean, yeah, I have can't have Lion King lose to Tarzan. Like Tarzan's good and ha- like a thing, if it didn't have the Phil, Phil Collins soundtrack, I don't think it would have been as good as a movie. That that right. literally the the soundtrack bumps up like four levels. And if it's a movie based on the soundtrack, uh, sorry. Lion King's Hamlet. Well, Lion King's Hamlet, but yeah, Hamlet no is, what, is a classic well. for a reason. So Next time you hear a firework or a gunshot in the distance, don't you dare say Clayton. After I can do it the hell I, whatever I, however I damn please, damn it. Mm-mm. All right, so Wait. then it is, <laughs> no, going back up, it's now <laughs> Emperor's New Groove, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, Emperor's, Emperor's New, New Groove, Groove versus Aladdin. Aladdin. Oh. So do you want to go for all star, like the all star funnier one, or the it's it's classic, just whatever it... the classic, which also well, Aladdin has a lot of comedy and it's freaking Robin Wal- Williams doing like everything he can do in that you know in that genie role without you know he's so funny. Well, I'll tell you what it's uh, if you want to vote for the one that makes you haha more or the one that you think has a better story, go for it, but. Personally, I think that one of these movies has uh, the better of both of those categories. And so that do I. is... So do I. <laughs> so I'm the swing vote here, so go for it. I'm going with Boom, baby. Emperor's New Groove. I'm going to stick with Aladdin because, yes, Emperor's New Groove is funny. I think funnier, like, from minute to minute, it's funnier than Aladdin. But I think Aladdin is still very humorous, but then has a has a, you know solid story there's no is there any besides yzma there's no female characters in emperor's new groove just yzma and she's the pacha's wife oh pacha's wife for five minutes but like his daughter so so what it's basically it's it's just it's just pacha and but i'm just saying i'm just saying for i'm just but i'm just saying for on the latin side you have jasmine who you know she could could have been a typical princess but she's badass and she you know, she doesn't want to be to be pawned off to some guy who's rich and famous. She wants some. Will, wants Will's trying love. to milk the whole feminist thing here to get. To <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, bro. Are you against that? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, boom, suck it. No, I'm just saying. It's like this. It's pretty just like, dude. It's a, it's a, it's a buddy. It's a buddy comedy with a llama and a, a big man with a poncho on. And that's very, it's it a so very original. funny, very, very funny movie. But I think oh, oh, a well, a land's more of a well-rounded story altogether. Well, I if you're Latin. talking about originality, I'm thinking. Emperor's I didn't didn't say anything about originality. I said a ah, well-rounded yeah. story. Well, Kev, I'm saying Kev, if we're finish. talking about original originality, Emperor's New Groove has a far more original. So yeah. it comes down to me. Hmm. It's original, but the uh, original always doesn't mean great story. It just means it well, hasn't in this been case, said before. It does. <sighs> and in I think it, I think more of I, I go for more of the comedy of it than like I go for like the rich storytelling. She turned him into a llama by accident, and then he's gonna. But then does he stay? I don't remember. Whatever, Kev, Kev. We're going <laughs> okay. way too. We're going way too long on this podcast. So this is a long one. my 
my vote is going to be one jump ahead of the emperor's new groove moving yeah. on. Wow. <laughs> All right. And Did speaking not. of story, story here, you have great character development in Emperor's New Groove, where everyone stays stagnant the entire time. In no. Aladdin. no, no, yes. no, no. Yes. Aladdin what, is a misguided person who always just is a good person and he like just stays kind of stagnant. He doesn't change. Yes, he does. Genie, no, he, he turns doesn't. Into a, he turns into a dick and ignores Genie and then at the end frees Genie. Right. So in the beginning of the movie, he is a nice and person. And he goes into a valley said, of selfishness and comes back out. So that's that's no, up and down. Yeah, that's not character development. He, he ends the same as he began. Same with all the other characters. Whereas in Emperor's New Groove, Cusco changes drastically from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie through his trials and tribulations throughout the movie. Damn, and, Kev, Kev's really yeah, but he had to, he had to be, he had to be right turned into a he had to turn into a llama and be a dick. It's called everybody. lesson learning. It's called Whatever. that's the trials and tribulations. Whatever. It's a good thing you're not a big fat guy. Or this would be really difficult. All right, so now it's so Sorry. now so it's Lion King versus Emperor's New Groove for the final. Yep. Wow. That's Why? crazy. This is stupid. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> this is stupid. Well, I guess Will's not a big fan of democracy. No, I like where, where were you on January 6th, Will? Just ask. I was celebrating your damn birthday. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no, I was I was in I was in uh bed with coronavirus, actually. I thought you were gonna say in Washington. <laughs> no, God, Jesus Christ. Um so Lion King versus Emperor's New Groove for the final. How did it get here? Uh, because the people have spoken. That's how we got here. <laughs> That's right. I, so I don't know my, where to begin. My I Lion King vote sticks. Mufasa is the best. And it's also Lion King has funny, you know, you got with Timon and Pumbaa, a lot of comedic things there. It's the same but thing then, I said for Aladdin. <laughs> but you, you fought also against have it. You also have um, the sad when Mufasa dies. I mean, come on. First time I cried at a movie. Dad! Get up, Dad! Like, oh, it's so, it's so heart-wrenching. And watching, but that also- scene, watching that scene in the new live-action one is so disappointing because you're trying to watch a little Simba cry, but it's a realistic lion face. So you're like you're seeing the the, the little cart like almost legitly live action lion cub trying to emote sadness with while but still looking like a lion like it can't frown it just is like oh no I'm sad but it's like it's just a lion face it's so stupid because it's that, talking it's talking like a person yeah. but it, it's so dumb I hated it the, I was watching it and being so upset. So also the sad but then also as I said for Emperor's New Groove there is character development with Simba. He changes very much throughout the movie. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the same as Aladdin because he started no. out as a good. Yes, he does. No. He starts out. He as doesn't a good start out as good. He starts out as a mischievous kid. Uh, a mischievous uh, street rat. Same thing. No, he's not mischievous. That's just like he has to do that to survive. But he is. You're splitting yeah, as, No, as Simba was selfish. Um, he was also a kid. Narcissistic. Kid. I'm going to be king. Listen to me. I do what I want to do. When I get power, I'm going to do this. I want to do these things. Wanna. He's overconfident, like thinking he can roar at three hyenas and, and win. These I just are think all he's things a child. that he goes I think, through. I don't think, I think he's just being a child, though. He isn't mature. That's not, I don't think it's character development. That's just him being a child. Character development. Nah, debatable. All right, well, Aladdin didn't win. Get over it. <laughs> Move on. Well, it, it, it's not that it didn't win. It, it I'm just. It's like it was going against something else, sure, but it went against Emperor's New Groove. Are you telling and, me Emperor's New Groove is not a great movie? I'm not saying that. I'm, I enjoy it for a lot, a lot of reasons, but not the reason that'll make it top movie. Yeah, whatever well, you say, Will. I'm well, still going to pick Lion King as my pick. Will Brian, are you sticking with Emperor's New Groove? I am. You know what? I am. All right, Will. Well, because now it makes Kev excited because I know he that he wants to win the bracket, so he's excited that I'm going to pick Lion King. So I'm going to pick Lion King, even though I don't want <laughs> Kev to win another thing. Because he's going to be like, he's going to be like, "Ha I'm winning now." Yeah, no, we're but tied now. It's, it's about the. Have I won any? Oh yeah, I won. You won we one. We always talk about this. You won one. Tommy so it's Hanks, three. It's three, it. three, one. Yep. I only won one. Yeah, yeah you, you won because uh, you keep you... bringing Nacho Libre to the table. 
No, I, what, what did you win? win what did you win? What's your number? What's the one win? Tom Hanks. Tommy Hanks. Oh, that's it. In the yeah, actors. You're, you're, you're not, your Nacho Libre this week was putting Tarzan as your number one. I think that Tarzan's good, but it's no number one. Excuse me? How dare you? Tarzan would have lost to, I think, all three of mine and all three of Will's. Yeah, probably. I, like when we did I the draft and we were like first play, Will, Will picked, what would you pick first, Will? Aladdin. Oh, well, Will picked Aladdin. You picked, I was like, okay, I got to get a Lion King. Lion King is going to be up there. You know, it's one of the best Disney movies. And then you come out swinging with Tarzan. I was like, okay. <laughs> and, and I stand by that. I stand by that. I just can't. But, I just, I'm just upset that Emperor's New Groove was, the, was in the final. I, I appreciate the movie a lot, but it's not a classic. I wouldn't call it a, because uh, uh, like, I don't think most, like, because it means something to us. But like, if you ask everyone out in the world, they obviously they haven't barely seen it. Know, they, people barely know Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, but when they watch it, they're like, damn, this, this movie rocks. <laughs> I'm just thinking, no, I know, like, but now, I'm saying, like, classic wise. Now that my movie won, now I can just think of, like, oh, when Easy was the cat, <laughs> I win. Big, uh... <laughs> I win. <laughs> what are the odds that this tunnel would leave me out here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't quote that movie anymore, Kev, because Lion King won. You only can quote Lion King. That's not true. Yeah. Simba. Use the force, Simba. Um, Simba, I am your father. This is this is me putting the thing on, on his forehead. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, we forgot about Rafiki. We didn't talk about Rafiki yeah. at all. There's also good life lessons. Ow, what would you do that for? What's the matter? It's in the past. It's in the past. You could, e- you could either run from it or learn from it. Huh? He's Words alive? To live by. And Akuta Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Yeah. What a wonderful phrase. I mean, right. no worries for the rest. Of so, the Lion day. King, all right, at least Lion King came out on top. And uh, at least that's like a, something like I can get behind that pick, at least. But Emperor's New Groove would have been crazy if that won. Um, I, I mean, it's a good, you know, it's really good. It's just like, I just like, in think of classic Disney movies, it wouldn't even be in like the top 20 probably on internet lists. Well, well the I, internet is not Brother Strice. I know and it's internet's not. not always right. It's true. Yeah, Will's, Will's too busy on QAnon over there looking at oh Disney Oh, my movies. God. Stop. <laughs> Don't put this into the universe. I'm not anything like that. I don't think QAnon has a, a Disney list. <laughs> they might. They might. I mean, all the, Will all, the, all the ones where Mickey and Goofy are in Nazi outfits. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, if you guys are speaking of Disney movies, Walt Disney, raging anti-Semite. Yeah, yeah, he didn't like. Sorry them. to sorry to burst your bubbles, everybody. But yeah, all no, those all those all those real. all those girls who love to go like who want to go to Disney for their wedding. Sorry, Mazel Mazel Tov. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, but, he he wouldn't approve. All right, so Lion King, top Disney movie, probably according to Brothers Thrice. If you agree, let us know. If you disagree, because there's so many movies we did not add to the list, like we talked about before, no princess movies really. I think ja- is Jasmine the only princess on the whole thing? Yep. Um, wow. Is Nala a princess? No, I don't think so. No. And she's barely in the movie. Yeah, but so if you let us know everything we missed, which um, there's a million – if you think that one deserved to win that we didn't put in at all, let us know on our socials or email us at brotherstrice at gmail.com to let Have us we know. Have ever gotten an email? Nope. Check it all the time. <laughs> Nothing, no one's ever sent us an email, but I will keep God! saying it because send us emails. There. <laughs> yeah. Send us emails, damn it. Um, with any, t- any, t- any brackets you want to see us uh, fill out with, because we're, we're starting to run out of ideas. We got to, we got to, we got to, do some brainstorming come up with historical some more time periods come on guys oh my goodness i love that time when uh everything was bad so all the time yeah that's, pretty that's, much no <laughs> no 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 uh all right thanks for listening everybody or watching if you're watching on youtube thanks for tuning in brothers thrice brothers thrice see ya peace brothers thrice